Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, Ustaz Suhaimi Mustar, Executive Chairman of Ashakirin Mos, Mr. Abdul Raza Ali and Mr. Ahmad Juan Muhammad, Vice Chairman of Ashakirin Mos, Ashakirin Mos Management Board Members, Honorable Guests, Brothers and Sisters in Islam, welcome to Singapore Polytechnic Convention Center. <laughs> As a representative of Ashakirin Moss Management Board and advisor to Ashakirin Youth Wing, it gives me great pleasure to speak to each and every one of you this morning to welcome you most cordially to our second youth symposium, Young and Dangerous, Fulfilling Life Destiny. I would like to take this opportunity to express my deepest gratitude to the organizing committee, made up of the youth wing Fitya Nashakirin and also to the Ashakirin Mosque officers, headed by Sister Nur Sakina Zainuddin and Ustaz Muhammad Aizat Zulkifli. The purpose of this symposium is firstly to discover youth issues experienced by the present and the past Muslim leaders. Secondly, to share success stories and tips when facing life challenges. Thirdly, to instill inner confidence in leading and fulfilling one's life destiny. And lastly, to gain inspiration from the successes of our youth today. We will also unravel real complex issues through the drama show which you will watch later. The show will touch on strained parent-child relationships, depression, family abuse, finding the truth and understanding the reasons some youths suffer from insomnia. So being a youth, as I think we all, most of us know, is a period of exploration, discovery, and finding one's identity and sense of belonging. During this period too, when thinking ahead and planning for the future, dreams, goals, and aspirations are brought to light. The aspirations of the youth might change though, with age, experience, influences, and opportunities available to them. Our local community could not have been more honoured when two former madrasa students have become the first to be offered places in NUS Medical School this year. Marha, Marha. We have the privilege of having one of them, Brother Ahmad Abdul Rahman, here today to share his story and hopefully inspire our youths to achieve excellence. Now, we find many successful Muslim youths in various fields. Doctors, lawyers, bankers, educators, engineers, scientists, artists, soccer players, and the list goes on and on. Our community has successfully built a culture of self-reliance over the years. Youth also play an important role in nation and community building. They are very impressionable, however, they may need guidance to differentiate what are ideals and what is practical in reality and how to balance and find moderation between the two. So living in a time and place where global landscapes are rapidly changing and constantly developing, our youths are exposed to many elements such as being highly connected to the digital world and social media, correct or not? Correct, right. Okay, our community was traumatized yet again this year when two Singaporean youths radicalized by ISIS were arrested and one of them detained for planning terror attacks. We must do our best to reach out to young people who are in search of answers and solutions to challenges confronting their generation. We must continue to build on our strong foundations, double our efforts, and together find new and creative ways to engage and reach out to our youths. Collectively, we will tackle this challenge and emerge stronger and more united as one Ummah. On this note, I encourage all of you to use this event as a platform to foster meaningful knowledge and share your views. I wish you an enriching and spiritually energizing time ahead. Last but not least, I would like to thank our guest speakers, Dr. Said Hairuddin Aljunit, Ustaz Zahid Zain, Ustaz Muhammad Fizar Zainal, Ustazah Saida Nafisa Hilmi, Ustaz Muhammad Zahil Fadzuli Al Hafiz, Brother Ahmad Abdul Rahman, and Sister Mimi Nazrina for being part of this memorable occasion. My heartfelt appreciation also goes out to the mosque, MMOs, institutions, and our volunteers for their utmost support. Also, I ask Allah, just as He gathered us here in this dunya, that He may gather us again in Jannah. Amin. I mean, I will leave you with one of my favorite quotes from Rumi. You were born with potential. 
You were born with goodness and trust. You were born with ideals and dreams. You were born with greatness. You were born with wings. You are not meant for crawling, so don't. You have wings, learn to use them and fly. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.